that day, <laughs> I ain't never seen her again. <laughs> On Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Wouldn't expect her to want to see you. <laughs> All right, now show me, Sully. You know nothing about women, I'll tell you that right now, boy. Well, what I do know is that there are women, and I'm a man, and that's all there is to it. You gotta treat her right. They'll kill you if you don't. What about you, Jimmy boy? They teach you how to treat a woman out there in the city? My father told me that a lady is like, like, like a musical instrument, like a violin. You have to know the right way to get her to make a sound. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Well, uh, that's all besides the point. Uh, I'm glad you didn't become a doctor. I wouldn't trust you near me with a knife anyways. You know, I could make something of myself. So, like I said, I got to be high and tra trench full of rats. And Herman Bonsai. You got Herman? Wrapped up trench and you're still the worst thing. Well, it's not my job in your life, sir. Let me serve you as a reminder that there will always be something bad at home and big in your What we go back to, that ain't home. That's just a round of introducing each other all over again. Everyone is taller or fatter, some even manage to get uglier. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what I'd be if I wasn't here. I wonder if I'd ever recognize Susan. You better look at the right man you marry, bitch. My father told me that I'd become a man here. And that when I came back home, all the neighbors were inviting me for dinner to marry the daughters. It makes me wonder if my dad always thought of me as a boy. You know, lies about that. <laughs> well, you know, Frank, if I learned one thing out here, it's that there is no glory at all in becoming. Only fools want to be men. You know, I wish I was still a kid. Hell, you know, I was the cockiest little kid in my whole dang town. All the grandmothers loved me. Uh, but it's not so cute anymore when a grown man goes to a grandmother to tell him that his stomach hurts. Uh, forget about that. Never mind. Keep sleeping. My wife said to me before I left, Red, we'll be here waiting for you. As soon as she walked back in, my son ran out and halted in front of me. He held his little hand, right hand to his forehead and saluted me. He said, I'll be the man of the house now, sir. Is this a poker game or something? Can you hush up, you meatball head, you saggy old skin? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 